a remarkable actress, Barry Chase, has left a lasting impression on the entertainment world. Her talent and charm have enchanted audiences for many years. What's your favorite performance of hers? Share any interesting facts or stories you know about her. I'm eager to hear your experiences. Get ready for some fun, surprising, and touching details about this timeless star. During her time in Hollywood and beyond, this individual made significant strides that influenced not only the film industry, but also dance and choreography in cinema. Their talent and versatility shaped the roles they portrayed and impacted how dance was integrated into storytelling on screen. Collaborations with directors and choreographers led to innovative sequences that raised the artistic standards of movie productions. The precision and elegance displayed in their dance captivated audiences and encouraged filmmakers to incorporate more sophisticated choreography into their work. Their ability to seamlessly blend dance with narrative helped redefine its role in film, setting the stage for future dancers and choreographers. Their presence on screen brought sophistication and grace to Hollywood productions, leaving a lasting impression on viewers and earning them a place as a beloved figure in entertainment. Beyond individual performances, their influence can be seen in how Hollywood approached dance and choreography in the years that followed. Overall, their impact on the film industry transcends their era, leaving a lasting effect on how dance and performance are approached in Hollywood. Their contributions continue to be felt, solidifying their place as a pioneer in acting and dance. In a classic film, Barry Chase took on the role of Sylvester's girlfriend, though her character remained nameless throughout. Identified as Mistress Halliburton in the official souvenir booklet, the character added depth to the ensemble cast. Despite chances to lead her own specials and appear on prominent variety shows following her success in An Evening with Fred Astaire, she chose to explore television opportunities in Europe instead. These appearances allowed her to experience various cultures and lifestyles, particularly in Sweden, where she spent extended periods during the 1960s. Her versatility extended beyond television appearances. In another film, she portrayed Farda, Sergeant Watson's love interest, showcasing her talent and presence on the big screen. As of January 2023, she remains the only surviving cast member from the film, as the rest of the principal actors have passed away. Despite the passage of time, her contribution to the film industry continues to be remembered and appreciated. In a tale of missed opportunities and unexpected turns, a talented actress faced setbacks in her journey through the world of cinema. Initially set for a significant role in a film, she found herself sidelined when the studio reassigned her dance numbers to another performer. Disheartened by this decision, she withdrew from the project, leading to a change in casting. This incident led her to part ways with the studio, feeling undervalued. However, in another cinematic venture, she showcased her versatility in a different role, demonstrating her acting prowess. Known for her ability to embody diverse characters on screen, she left her mark in various productions, including portraying Dean Taylor in one film and Doris Lentz in another. Despite the challenges she faced, her talent shone through, leaving an indelible impression on audiences. Her journey reflects the highs and lows of the entertainment industry, where resilience and determination are crucial for success. Barry Chase, known for her role as Farda in The Flight of the Phoenix, remains the last surviving member of the cast since Hardy Kruger's passing. Her career took a hiatus for 53 years until she returned to the screen in Leave Em Laughing in 2020. Interestingly, she is the younger sister of Frank Chase. Despite her long absence from the spotlight, her recent return to acting has sparked interest in her work once again. In the world of classic movies, there's one film that captures the essence of a past era. And with the recent loss of some of its stars, including Mickey Rooney in 2014 and Nicholas Georgiade in 2021, only one remains from the original cast. This individual, not just an actor, but also a skilled dancer, played a significant role in MGM film history. Back in 1957, they worked alongside choreographer Jack Cole on notable projects like Less Girls and Designing Woman. One interesting fact about the film is its extended version, which includes a musical number titled You Satisfy My Soul by the Shires. Although this song didn't make it to the final cut, in a special scene unique to the extended version, two characters dance to it, ignoring a ringing telephone for the second time. As the last surviving member of the full cast, this person serves as a living link to a bygone era. Their talents in dance and choreography have left a lasting impression on classic cinema, creating a memorable contribution that resonates with fans to this day. And it's a mad, 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 mad world. She played Sylvester's girlfriend. She sought advice from her friend Steve McQueen on how to approach her role. McQueen suggested they portray their characters as stoned, 
leading to a unique dance sequence. In The Flight of the Phoenix, she portrayed Farida. Director Robert Aldrich wanted her to perform a topless exotic dance, but she declined. Following her fourth TV special with Fred Astaire in 1968, she decided to retire from performing and focus on her family. She and her husband, Richard Kaufman, DDS, moved to Venice, California, where they enjoy cycling together. During an interview for a significant anniversary celebration, it was revealed that when she landed the park, she hadn't danced for a while and carried some extra weight. Sent to wardrobe, she faced the choice of three bikinis. Opting for the black fringe one, she aimed to distract the audience with the fringe's movement. The top's construction allowed her to strategically enhance certain areas by adding some extra padding and a few other items. In a particular episode titled The Ballerina, she guest starred in the title role. Interestingly, the episode was written by her brother. She portrayed Doris Lentz in a well-known movie. Known for her role as the Corrine with a stock response, she later partnered with a famous actor in his Emmy-winning television specials. In addition to numerous uncredited appearances in movie musicals, she took on the role of Brainy Stripper opposite another actor in a 20th Century Fox movie. Notably, she also teamed up with another actor as his deadpan twist partner in a famous comedy movie. In the realm of entertainment, there was a shining star whose performances left a lasting mark wherever she appeared. Her name, Barry Chase. She lit up the screen alongside Fred Astaire and wowed audiences in Las Vegas. You might recall her as Sylvester's girlfriend in the film, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Surrounded by talented actors, she effortlessly stood out with her skills. Over time, she became the last surviving member of that memorable group. Her journey in showbiz, marked by elegance and grace, remains vivid in the memories of those who watched her. Indeed, Barry Chase continues to inspire performers of all ages. This narrative gives a glimpse into the remarkable career of a true silver screen icon. In 1963, during the celebration of a classic movie's 50th anniversary, an interesting story emerged about how a certain actor landed a role. While in Sweden, Barry Chase received a call from her agent about an audition with Stanley Kramer the next day. Unbeknownst to her, Kramer's wife had recommended her for the part, securing it without the need for an audition. Walking down the Sunset Strip afterward, Barry confided in a friend about her lack of preparation. The friend suggested playing the character stoned, a tactic approved by Kramer. However, Barry faced a challenge she had never been stoned and needed guidance on toking a doobie from a crew member. This unique preparation contributed to her zoned out appearance during the dance scene, especially when dealing with the energetic antics of Dick Sean. Interestingly, Steve McQueen helped her find the character. Before her memorable stint in the movie, Barry made her debut as a dancer in another film. This marked the beginning of her career in entertainment. In the movie, Barry played Sylvester's girlfriend during the final car chase. A subtle connection to her previous work appeared when Culpepper's car and two cabs passed a theater marquee advertising a 1962 movie in which Barry was part of the cast. This added an interesting layer to the movie's background, subtly linking the characters to the broader cinematic landscape. Her journey from a dancer in one movie to Sylvester's girlfriend in another movie showcases her versatility and ability to adapt to different roles in the entertainment industry. From the comedic chaos of a 1960s caper to the harrowing survival tale in the desert, one individual stands as a link to the golden age of cinema. This actor showcased talent alongside notable casts and memorable films of yesteryears. Since then, this figure has remained a subject of interest for fans and historians alike, keeping the cinematic past alive. Their journey through entertainment, spanning various roles in both film and television, continues to captivate audiences. In their contributions, they leave behind a memorable impact, a testament to their dedication to the craft. Their story serves as a reminder of the enduring allure of classic cinema. Amidst the glitz and glam of Hollywood, one individual's journey took a somber turn when tragedy struck. Behind the scenes, a talented actress faced a devastating personal loss, revealing a resilience that went beyond her on-screen roles. Despite the challenges, this person continued to display strength, resonating with those who knew her story. In the entertainment industry, her journey became a reminder of the human spirit's ability to endure unexpected challenges. Beyond the camera's lens, individuals like her carry burdens that shape their narratives, showcasing the complexity of those who contribute to cinema. In the world of dance and film, a remarkable artist faced a heartbreaking twist of fate in her early 40s. A severe car accident took away the opportunity for her to continue performing at the same high level she once did. Starting off as an exceptional dancer, she caught the eye of choreographer Jerome Robbins, 
leading to collaborations in several well-known productions. One of her standout roles was alongside Fred Astaire in a film that captured audiences' hearts. Despite finding success on screen, her true passion lay in dance. She continued to showcase her talent on popular television shows, captivating audiences with her performances. However, a tragic car accident abruptly halted her flourishing career, causing not only physical pain, but also preventing her from pursuing her lifelong passion. Undeterred, she redirected her focus towards teaching and choreography, leaving a lasting mark on future performers. Her story serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges in the entertainment industry and the resilience needed to overcome unexpected obstacles.